Today I'm going to play um, Dust Tactics. For those of you that don't uh, know of the game, it's it's really easy and fun to play. Um, I have a great time every time I play the game. I normally don't play by myself, but today I am. I have no one else here and my friend won't come over. So I'm gonna do this alone today and uh, we're gonna see what the outcome is. So as you can see, these are the, the units. And these cards are really huge. You just, you can't put these in your pocket. So we got uh, four Russians, we got five American troops and six German. So basically it's the allies against the, the, uh, the Axis. You can see these pieces. It's an aircraft. Got the guerrilla troops. Got the zombies. This is a building. Um, you have to imagine there's a wall there. And you can actually see it. Then I got some 3D effects, a couple of trees. Here we got some flyboys, some Russian, um, yeah, it looks like they got some heavy, heavy weapons. Hmm. Bazooka. Anti-aircraft, there's another anti-aircraft. And the dice. Really easy to play, got one hit. So when it comes down to these um, units, um, you just don't, on the big vehicles, you usually have different setups you can have. And they come with three different cards, so you can set this up. Really easy to set up. You take this piece off, um, you know, and you take this piece off, this piece off. So you have from uh, anti-tank to, and we're gonna change it to, and anti-air it's real simple to do and anti-air can also be used against troops so and there it is it's very simple um, easy to do um, almost all the walkers and all the tanks um, come with three different cards and you can change them out really quickly and now this guy is a uh, anti-aircraft beast now he's not going to be playing in this game um, because he he just has too much of a cost and I haven't really have uh, all the armor here is really light and this guy's a heavy armor so I'm not gonna play with this dude so you can see we have a bridge and then we got some water kind of toxic looking water and there's a building here building back here then we have a big open area so that aircraft can fly in here then we have an open area here with some sandbag emplacements and then I have a, uh, a little uh, fortress now I placed these rocket launching um, storage boxes 
every so often. I don't know, this guy here, he probably carries two. So we got these zombies with those guys. And I, I usually did a different color for the helmets. Depends on which, because I would get confused between all this, the sets I have. So there's different colors. They don't look realistic, obviously. There's them gorillas. This guy's got the river waffle. He's got them rockets. And there's only one aircraft in this particular game, but I do have a lot more. Then I have a sniper up in the top here. And again, this is a building. This is a building. And this is all open. This is this is the scenario book. Just one of them. I have uh, three different ones. And, you know, there's a bunch of scenarios. I, the one I'm doing is pretty close to this one here. I'm not going to go exactly um, the way this scenario goes, but there's a bunch of them. Here's another one that looks similar. Although I'm, there's the attacker's not on the bridge. Here's some of the units. Uh, Rhino. He's actually a really good guy in uh, close combat. And what did I miss here? These are the Axis forces. easy to look at and kind of fun and you guys will understand how to play this game it's dust tactics made by fantasy flight it's a really good game i don't think they make it any longer but you can still find pieces on uh, online um, i have a uh, bunch of pieces i'm going to go ahead and take some show you some pictures of uh, some of the pieces i have and uh, we're going to get this game on a roll all right we're going to start the game um, you have to do an initiative initiative. So this is the allies. It's a four and then the access. It's a four. Let's do allies again It's a four. Let's do access a three. All right. So what happens is I will use I will um, Move one unit and attack. So it's kind of an activation. So you activate your unit They activate their unit and it goes back and forth till everyone has been activated you have two choices to make during your movement. You can either move twice, you can combine forces on one, you can sit still, or um, you can uh, assault. And you can see these guys here, it tells you close combat. He can shoot up to four spaces. This guy can shoot up to three. It's real easy. Here's my damage counters. So when these guys get damaged i'm gonna go ahead and stick them on these particular ones these other units don't have uh damage they don't need damage counters because um when this guy dies he's removed and same with this if one dies the other one is left over so these are easy um these that i already have little chits little glass beads on um, that is for their special ability. You only get one chance and once you use that you get rid of the bead So I just want these uh, allied to just to go all out and Destroy the access and same with the access Get those gorillas and zombies and just just come on over and just attack and fight to death. So that's that's the game plan here So I'm gonna do a movement and then I'll come back and show you where I moved All right, this is the movements. Trying to get them real close here. And then these guys went inside, so they'll be protected. Uh, they have a good um, long range weapon, so they can clear the bridge easily. Now over on the axis, the zombies are, they don't know which way they're going, but they're going. 
Same with the uh, gorillas. They're heading that way. Sniper's going to stay up in the building. Um... I don't know if I'll move them closer. They have a pretty good long range on their weapons. At least he's the sniper. This guy is just a regular. I'm not sure. Uh, I could separate them and have him join up in another group. Um, I'll have to think about that. So he's got a big um, pack. Um, I think it's a 75 weapon. And then these guys are alike in the row. So um, the airplane. All the air, all the aircraft in this game, um, they can hover. You can see it's got little um, exhaust pipes on the nozzles on the bottom, so they all can hover. I'm not sure why I got the big long anti-tank um, weapon on it, but it also has the little machine guns. Each piece can um, shoot all the weapons if it can. It's all, you know, if you're if you if you can shoot the distance, shoot all your weapons you can. So these guys and the zombies are the only ones that could shoot this whole turn. Nobody else is close enough. They're all too far away. Even this long gun is just it only shoots four spaces, one, two, three, four. So it doesn't go that far. And this only shoots three. This is unlimited. You can shoot clear across the board. Um, I can actually have him shoot because um, this would be in the way because he's not in that square. I have to think maybe I'll let him shoot. So the zombie shot. They only had one weapon that could shoot the four squares, and they both missed. You can see the two black emptiness. So these guys were saved. So that's done. And then these guys shot the zombies, and they're behind cover. So they um, also resilient. So we got three hits, and then. Also, we had uh, only one of them is a miss. It, it nullifies one of those. So that's nullified. Now there's just two hits left. Now, because they're in hard cover, um, I have to look down here what hard cover is. It's, um, it's the blanks. So I gotta roll these two. If they come up blank, then they are protected. Okay, one of them is not protected. So one of them dies. And I can choose whichever one I wanna choose. Most likely it's just gonna be a basic, uh, see he's got the long gun, so that's, that's a necessity. I'll just take one of the other ones out. So this battle is over. They didn't lose any, and they lost one, and they both had a chance to fight. It's simultaneous, so regardless of if he shot this guy and they lose all of theirs, they still get a chance to shoot back when they're activated. And I'll go ahead and shoot this guy, and the next round I'll tell you if anybody on the other side dies. These two guys were able to shoot the gorillas, and they had two hits. The gorillas did a, uh, their uh, damage resilient because they're so powerful, but one didn't make it. One was a save, and the other one was a kill. So this is a superhero guy, so we're just going to put one damage on that fella, and they're still there. The zombies shot at these guys, but they all missed. There's no nothing there. Um, and these guys need to shoot at the zombies. Um, they shoot. Uh, let's take a look at the dice. Looks like um, the zombies are three. Um, so it's uh, three, six, nine dice. 
add another one. Do one of these. It looks like there's two hits. So I got two hits on the zombies. And uh, I'm going to have to do their damage resilient also, which means that for every hit they get, if they're not behind cover, then um, anything with the target is a miss. So that's so if I get two targets, none of those damage will work. And they didn't get it. So two more zombies will be will be dead. Um, unfortunately, um, we're trying to get them close because the, the zombies they uh, they have the Panzerfaust and they also work really good in close combat. Same with the gorillas. These particular guys do very well at long distance. And then they shot the long gun because right now they can only shoot um, either four with the one gun or the one Panzerfaust. And then their little submachine guns can only go two spaces away. I suppose they could have shot these guys here. So, but they all missed. They None of their bullets uh, hit. This guy shot the airplane. The airplane got one damage and he can't shoot yet one two three four so he's still he's gonna move up next turn I want to get him up there to shoot one of these guys and the same with this guy here he can only move one space and shoot one two three he still can't shoot anybody so we're gonna save him for last to see what these guys do depending on who has the initiative hopefully the Axis will have initiative then they can watch what the allies do first um, I did shoot this um, larger gun here and he keeps missing. He shot twice already. He missed. The sniper is getting into position. I'm going to try to put him in this building and try to shoot some of these guys. So they've all moved. Everybody on the German side has moved and shot. All I'm waiting for is this fella in that one there. And this round, it was pretty exciting. I actually like this round. It was pretty cool. A lot of dead. <laughs> I did move the fella out of this um, thing because he really can't get any closer. So I moved him out to get a little bit closer hand. This guy didn't get shot at, but he did shoot the airplane. Airplane received three damage. The plane did destroy this. This guy is totally gone. He, uh, he only had three damage. Uh, he was hit with four, which tapes, takes it over the damage, which means he's dead. So he was dead. He was able to shoot this fella here. And one of his guns is inoperable now. The other one he can still shoot. Um, they didn't shoot at all. Um, the big guy back here, he was able to shoot once. Missed. The snipers didn't get a chance. They, uh, they used up all their um, uh, points in movement. These guys moved into here to get a better chance at trying to shoot at something. Over here, the gorillas attacked. They attacked my flyboys here. One of them died. They also shot and pulverized the gorillas. So one gorilla ended up dying. Um, these two guys here ended up shooting the zombies, but the zombies were behind the cement cover. Um, they saved themselves. Uh, one, one of the robot guys was, uh, was taken out with a Panzerfaust. This guy did try the bazooka and he missed. And the other two had used their action and movement, so they didn't they weren't able to shoot anything. But this next turn they will take a chance. When you do activate your card, you can turn note it over or you can just memorize if you activated it or not. A lot of people will just turn it over so they know, hey, I used it. I can't use it any longer. If a um if one of these uh Enemies will cross in front of you. You can actually get you can actually activate your unit and shoot um, Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not so once you shoot it You're done. You can't use it anymore for that round So we're gonna start the next round. I'm gonna remove all the dead corpses and we'll see if that jet airplane is still Gonna hang around. I don't know if it will it's uh, it actually lost the big gun because it was hit with for every two damage the vehicle receives, you have to eliminate one of the weapons. 
So I eliminated the large cannon. It still has the double machine gun. So um, we'll continue fighting with this one. And again, he lost the Panzerfaust. He still has the other one there. So he's still active. But we'll see how far it goes. Um, these particular guys were over here and I flew them over. They're flying and then they attacked the apes this way. And they only got one damage. So this guy lost an arm. So he's, he's still got another arm. So he's still fighting. This guy was killed by a Panzerfaust again by a zombie. Um, these guys died because the apes attacked them and they killed them off. And then these guys attacked the zombies and only one zombie died. Uh, his shot did nothing. I moved um, these three. Um, they're called the Devil Devil's Own. So I moved them two spaces over. I want them to go over there and kill off those monkeys. Um, I'm having a difficult time with them. Over here, this guy was damaged by the jet. Um, and then he fired back and killed the jet. Actually, he didn't kill the jet. He got enough damage to where um, his weapon was reduced to in half again. And then the 50 caliber machine gun finished off the jet. So the jet crashed in the, in the water. Totally dead. So yeah, the plane accumulated this much damage. And then one more killed it off. So it was gone. Um, there's still three apes left. Um, they got a lot of power and they got that powerful punch. I just got to keep my distance. Um, but otherwise, it's it's doing great. Um, the damage on these isn't too bad. You can see the damage on these fellows. He's got three. One more kills him off. Um, this guy's got one damage. He's got three more to, to live. And then the big ape has um, two, so he lost an arm. For every two damage you get, you lose a weapon. And then those, I only have two of these left. And then only one zombie. Those damn apes! Yeah, these these guys are tough. Uh, no doubt. The, those monkeys can fight. So they just killed off these three, and they're, these three aren't, they're not uh, sissies. Come on, they, they're pretty powerful. So I have to get rid of those apes somehow, I don't know. Um, killed the zombie with these guys here with the phaser weapons. Um, the bazooka went into hiding for right now. I moved. This uh, 50 cal here because there was nothing to shoot at. It was just too far to shoot. And then this uh, walker, he uh, shot at uh, this guy. So it took him out, he's gone. The sniper um, took out these two. And also this thing here took it out. So he took out one guy and the sniper took out the other guy. So they're gone. And none of those got any damage, so they were fine. So the Germans, the only thing left is just these two fellas and the monkeys. Really, that's all they have left. We'll have to see what happens. I have uh, 50 cal, this robot, which is very weak at this point, three phasers, and a bazooka. In this round, um, I moved this guy up closer. He took a shot at these... Uh, the 75 millimeter here and took them out so he's they're dead um, I did move the gorillas into the hard cover in case they were being shot at and I moved them closer so there's gonna be a battle next turn for sure I just want to make sure they have some kind of cover and then this guy is still very weak one more damage and he's a goner um, I don't think they can do a damage so the only ones that can actually kill this thing off now is the gorillas. In fact, I think I need to head over to the gorillas with that. So this is all that's left of the Germans and I just gave the apes another two damage. Um, these guys died from the 50 cal. They took them out, so they're gone. 
They just got repositioned to shoot at the monkeys. And obviously the monkeys just uh, suddenly attacked uh, when these other um, units came in here. When these guys came in, um, they used up all their ac action points to move because they were moving twice as fast. And then the monkeys were last to move and they just jumped up and attacked and they killed two of these guys. And then the next turn, these guys, the one last guy killed one monkey. And the bazooka still hasn't, I mean, he shot, but it doesn't do any good. He shoots through the hole, nothing's happening. Um, we'll see what happens, there's two monkeys left. And that's, that's the whole game, really. Uh, I got all this long range firepower. I, I can't see the monkeys winning. So it looks like an allies win. This is the end. It's all gone. Uh, this uh, monkey just kept trying to kill this guy. He just couldn't do it. After three turns, he and he couldn't kill the monkey. Um, it took this guy back here, machine gunning. This other gorilla decided to take a run for it and try to kill off the tank since he only had one damage left, but he got shot in the process. So the allies did win. So thanks for watching this uh, interesting little uh, game. It's called Dust Tactics. It's a fun game. The, uh, the pieces are really large. They're like uh, 1 24th scale. I guess if you put them into a, like a auto, like a car scale, it's like 1 24th or maybe 1 32nd, something like that. They're uh, they got some good detail to them. I had to paint all these, so they've all been painted by me. So until next time, um, I don't know what kind of other games I'm going to have, but I do want to do another game, uh, maybe a Flames of War or Axis and Allies, and I'm going to get that posted for you guys. Um, I do enjoy playing the games, uh, not particularly by myself, but I do like playing the games with other people, uh, either my friend or, or whoever, a family member that comes by. So it was good. It's fun.